Hi guys, well, welcome to another Paul's Yard video. It's the day for the Golf Cabriolet, and I think we made a decision we are going to sell it. Um, it came by my way by default uh, to help a friend's son out. We bought it so he could go on holiday, and we wasn't sure what we were going to do with it, but I wanted to get it MOT'd and get it roadworthy again, and then we sort of fixed all the, the sort of foibles and the gremlins that we had to deal with. So, we paid £500 for it, and here's all the list of all the bits and pieces I've done. I don't need to do a complete breakdown, but that's, I'm going to run through everything that I've done. So, First up, first thing we noticed, preparing it for the MOT, which you'll see on my previous videos on this uh, Mark III Golf, we had no headlights at all. Turned out the wiring had been tuned through there and over there in the front scuttle, and we had the same with the side repeater. That had been eaten away, so I've rejoined all them up, and they now work, obviously, as they should. Didn't have a battery in it, so I bought a battery to at least get it fired up, because I had a feeling it would go, so we've got the battery as well. You'll see another video on this if you look back through my videos. The passenger side, the day I got it in the yard, um, undid the window and it just dropped down to the deck. And I thought that's a regulator. So stupidly, I went for a cheap one on eBay and I paid 25 quid for one. It was for a for a, a hard top version where you got the solid frame on the door and it went up and it didn't work at all. So a great expense. It was the biggest expense on the car, 120 pounds for a proper VW regulator for that side for a Mark III Cabriolet, which now works perfectly fine. So that was a big spend. Um, I've got a, um, a proper uh, VW Gamma radio for this, which we did wire in, but it doesn't seem to work. And the eBay seller assured me it does work. Um, but we're going to try and rig it up to a battery direct and see if there's something wrong with the wiring but there's an aftermarket one in there that works perfectly okay so there is music, there is sounds and there was a CD player okay so that works so if you come this way a little bit further the saving grace for this car as I mentioned before we've cleaned the hood today which will be in this video as well at some point that's come up I'd say 9 out of 10 I'm really impressed with that we used some Meguiar's uh, rooftop cleaner and that has come out exceptional I'm really pleased with that this car is about the roof, the interior and the mileage We've got 65,000, 66,000 on the clock coming up. The interior is fantastic, it's all clean, there's no rips, no tears. There's the aftermarket stereo in there. Back seats are nice and clean. If you pop the camera through the back window here, I've got all the windows down at the moment, so it's all dry and clean. Um, also, if we just open up, so interior bits, as I mentioned a minute ago, the gear stick gator, that was all perished, so we've changed that and at great expense another 40 pounds this little interior light here this switch had completely come off and they, they were not cheap wherever i looked they weren't cheap so now with the door open it comes on it works it didn't before it seems to not be working on the central one which is the permanently on so that's a pretty loose connection but it works with the door open so i leave it off because we, we sort of have to cut doors open a lot and i don't want to flatten the battery so we're on just under 66,000 miles the interior is impeccable it really is there's a the screen is not chipped it's probably had a replacement screen at some point there's not a mark on the screen at all so that's good so the mot has got another 10 months to run so it's got a long mot on it um did a basic service we did an oil filter change uh, air cleaner change that's done and also the two oil sensors that are on top of the um where the oil filter winds on they were the wrong way wired the wrong way round so i've re redone them and put new sensors on they were only about 12 quid so th but that changed the way it ran because every time you hit 2000 revs beep 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 the oil light come on so that's all been rectified it's got a mobilizer as well which is great you just pop that in and then turn the, the key over um let's have a look come around the back so i'm always after taking cars back to where they originally come from to try and sort of uh, give it some originality so it came from drift bridge garage in epsom uh back in 1995 it's got one owner from new and it was a demo car so what we've done is we've got some plates made up these are all the little things that i like to do with when i restore cars so it's got drift bridge garage and i've got a guy who um has got a little sideline hustle and he makes all these plates up for for cars so if you need him i can pass on his details and if we come around here 
you'll see in one of my previous videos as well, this is the, the Carmen edition here, which is uh, this little emblem here. And you've got the steel wheels, but it's got these surrounds, and there was only one. I think they've been pinched because it's been on the dryer for about four or five years prior to me owning it. And there was only one left, which we have the original one in the uh, container there, but I've managed to find four on eBay, which were black. So I've just sprayed them up silver just to blend them in with the wheel, and they just they, they bring the wheels on no end. They look so much better. Um, so that's that. We've got around some number plates. We've done that. I think that covers all the things I've done, really. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, one last thing down here. It's a silly little thing. There's, there's a, the, the drift bridge number back again. This would have been pinched, this little thing under here. And they're all the little bits that have been stolen underneath there. So I managed to find one of them on eBay. And today we just replaced the aerial. That had all perished here as well. So that had all perished at the bottom where all the rubber had just disintegrated. And it's all these little things. And if you put them all together, you, instead of the car being three or four out of 10 when I bought it, it was that far, that close to being a, a spare parts car really. But I think now, and this drives like a dream, 60 odd thousand on the clock it drives, absolutely lovely. Um, the roofs, I say the roof, river convertible, the roof makes it, doesn't it? Because when you put it up, it's an absolute, it's torn and sagging, it doesn't look very good. But that's about a four year old roof, so it's in impeccable condition. Well, thanks for watching. If you're interested, send me a message and um, get, you know, just if you've got any questions or anything about the car, say it's a two owner car, one demo, one lady owned it from brand new, and I picked it up about two or three months ago. I brought it up to a much better level than when I found it. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. So I've made a decision. It's time to prepare the Golf for sale. So we'll have a walk around. I've given it a quick wash over, but what's always been put off is cleaning this roof. Look at the crap coming out of there. So we've got some Meguiar's proper uh, soft top cleaner, which we've soaked all over the car. We're going to agitate it. And then instead of rinsing it off, we're going to try and suck it out with a wet and uh, dry hoover, one of those Vax things. Just see if we can see if lifts more of this out rather than just trying to wash it out. Um, I think it might be a better approach. I say the roof is in really good condition. Uh, it must have been replaced about four or five years ago, but it's always been covered in mildew and sort of, you know, the green sap from trees and stuff. So we're just going to try and get that out now. The start of the front right the bonnet we've got a size of a one pence piece it's gone right through the paint to the bonnet there a few usual chips and stuff okay various scratches on the wing which aren't too bad 
they can be touched in. We have a, a hole here, I'm afraid. That could be patched in, I'm sure it is. It's localised area there. If you wanted a budget, you could fiberglass it or you cut it out if you're going to do this car properly or just use it as it is. Put some resin in there and just paint over that section, you know, you can get the paint mixed up. Come around to here. This is quite common on these. That blow mark there where the water's got behind there and it's running there. Usual little scratches and little tiny, tiny, loads of little dents, okay? I'm just, this is an honest review. I'm just being honest about this car. But there's loads of little dents down the side, but it, it's not too bad, you know? I've seen a lot worse, as they say. Back's pretty good. Lack of pill. Lack of a pill or lack of pill, whatever you want to say. That's gone there. Again, a few scratches and stuff. I'm just being straight with you. Look, lack of pill there. So this would probably suit someone who maybe had a body shop or access to a body shop because it could be a nice little weekend project, this, in the winter. But as I say, I don't want you to think that the camera's just flattering it, you know, from a distance. I'm just being honest about this car. There's a little scuff down there. But overall, you know, you, you could use it as it is, I do. <laughs> but if you want it perfect, you could put it through a body shop. Remember, there's not a roof to do, so it should be a bit cheaper, shouldn't it? You haven't got to pay for the roof to be done. There you go, guys. So, hopefully you can hear me over the engine. There's the air, new air filter in there, take my word for it. Battery in there. And there are the two oil sensors I changed just there. And obviously a new oil filter. And uh, five or six litres of oil, I think it was five litres of oil. But she runs like an absolute dream. No oil leaks, no coolant leaks. Lovely. The cam belt's got 2015 on it, so that's seven years old. So that could probably do with changing. Either that, either that or ten years. 